Hello, this is Mike Warpenberg. I'm the developer of VAS Programmer, and uh, this has been a long time in coming, but I thought I'd take uh, a little bit of time to do a quick demo with audio uh, to give everyone kind of an idea of what VAS Programmer is all about and so forth. Um, um, so let's just get started. Um, I'm going to skip all the installation and so forth, uh, those sorts of things right now, just so we can uh, kind of get into it to give you a flavor of what's going on. Uh, you can see on the screen right now, I've started VAST Programmer, and uh, it's running and talking to my uh, K2600 rack unit. Um, just in case you're wondering, uh, when you first start uh, VAST Programmer, you're going to get some sort of screen like this that allows you to set up the MIDI connections and so, and so forth. Uh, but uh, so it's uh, you know it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to, to actually get uh, Vast Program Vast Programmer actually running. Um, so let me just kind of go over some things really quickly with you. Uh, you see the familiar type of interface like you would right on the front of the unit. Um, you can scroll uh, up and down uh, just like you would uh, with um, you know right on the front panel. Um, you can also hit the plus minus buttons and so forth. Uh, one of the neat things you can do though is just type directly into the uh, into your uh, Kurzweil like this. Uh, say I wanted to go to program 211, I just type 211 here and boom it goes right to it. Um, but um, uh, one of the cool things, and really the reason I did VAST Programmer in the first place, was just to to give us a computer assist uh, to use the uh, the given interface. So it doesn't it doesn't reinvent uh, the the user interface paradigm at all. What it does is just to make it a little bit easier to use. So if I go over here and I click the Edit button, um, what I'm going to see is uh, VAST Programmer is going to go out and talk to my Kurzweil and pull down uh, what it sees. Um, one of the other things you'll notice here are these buttons down the side here. What these are are all the different pages that you'll see on the Kurzweil. But um, what the VP does is actually cache them uh, so that they can be accessed very fast. Um, Vast Programmer uh, is as far of, uh, from being under the hood as you can get. In fact, um, Vast Programmer really takes a screen scraper kind of attitude. Um, it really only sees what you see. Uh, it doesn't use any special sysx commands or anything like that. It just scrapes uh, what it can see off the screen and then helps you organize it so you can jump around uh, a lot quicker uh, than you could sitting right on the machine. So what I'm going to do right now is just I'm going to click this F star button and what that's going to do is that's going to just go and fetch all the screens of this uh, program. And this particular one only has one layer zone, so I probably didn't pick a good one uh, to demonstrate some of the features, but we'll just let it complete. Now, you don't have to do this each time. Uh, Kurzweil, the, excuse me, Fast Program restores this on your hard drive, so when you come back to this program later, uh, it'll first look on your hard drive to see if it's uh, already cached all this information. So, as you can see now, um, it's done, and you can look down here and see all these, um, well, see all these screens that uh, it's cached down. And if I click on one, it brings it, uh, it actually navigates uh, the Kurzweil to that page. And then I can go over here and I can actually just click on uh, the different, uh, uh, the different uh, fields. Uh, I can edit them, you know, like this one I could say, uh, you know, 120. If I wanted to, and uh, it changes it right away. Uh, one of the other things you can do with the Kurzweil too is teach it um, the different settings for some of these fields. Um, practically any field, and uh, it turns out. Uh, let's take this one for example. Let's say the delay control. Now well, it's off now, but say I wanted to set it to something. If I right-click on this field, it navigates to that, and then it puts up uh, all the different options that I can set on there. And let's say you know, I want to set it to B clock or something. And so uh, it makes it very easy to do. And um, you can use the familiar um, you can use the familiar buttons down here, or you can use this tabbed interface section to go to the different uh, the different pages of your interface. And the whole time I'm doing this, 
um, the the uh, information is being sent to the K2600, and it's navigating to that page. So it's actually doing this uh, in the background constantly. Uh, another way to navigate to pages is actually, you know, click here on this on this uh, menu on, down along the side. Oops, I didn't get it that time. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Actually, it's what it did is it's actually already on this uh, tabbed page. Let's, let me pick a different one. Let me pick uh, the pitch page. So if I click on the pitch uh, page here, it goes to the tab down here. Okay. Now, the reason that's useful is that you can tab around and look very quickly at what's going on in your program without actually navigating around in the on the K2600 per se. Okay, so because it's cached all the information. Um, okay, it's not until I actually click on something and want to do something with it does it actually change the uh, view that I actually see on the physical uh, machine. And uh, once you guys get this up and running, you'll see what I'm, I'm talking about. But the big thing about Vast Programmers allows you to reason and, and jump around very quickly uh, in your program. And uh, it kind of automates the, um, it automates the creative process. Over here on this side of the screen, you can see that it has, as, you, as it discovers information about your program, it puts... Um, a list over here along the left hand side that keeps track of where all the controls are, what pages they're referenced on. And if you click on that, it'll actually uh, go to the proper tab down here below. And of course, you can uh, uh, do whatever you want. You can you know, click on something and uh, navigate to it and edit it. Uh, so uh, let me type in like 56 here. OK. So. Um, you know, you can actually navigate around very, very quickly. And there has been a lot of work in actually making Bass Programmer very fast. Another thing you can do is actually use these backwards and forwards buttons. What they do, they're just like a, like a browser, like an internet browser. It actually goes back and forth to the physical pages that you've looked at on the machine. And so you can jump around that way as well. So it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of how you navigate and so forth. Another cool thing here is the undo feature. As you can see that a couple of values I've changed in this program, I can actually undo them. It remembers what they were. It navigates back to those pages, as you can see, and will actually do an undo command, or I can redo them. Okay, And that functionality is pretty robust. Uh, it works pretty well in about about any place. There are a couple little glitches, uh, but uh, on some of the weird pages like um, uh, on the uh, envelope page when you go from a natural envelope to one that's parameterized, a custom one. Uh, here, let me see if I can show you that, what I'm talking about. Like if you go down here to uh, like amplitude envelope, um, let's go and click on that so it'll bring that page up. You know how um, if you you can actually change this uh, the envelope to being natural and and, it, and and the architecture of what the page looks like actually changes and so uh, let's see if I click on this and I click on uh, this to natural um, the undo feature kind of I haven't put in all the little uh, special cases so it might goof up on that one um, just so you know but generally speaking it's pretty um, it's pretty uh, um, versatile and very robust. Um, so let me exit this and get out of here and go into a different program. And of course, if I exit and ask me if I want to save changes, and I'm not going to save any changes here, uh, let me go um, to a different thing. Let's try to go to one that has more, excuse me, one that has more uh, layers to it so you can see.